Ik heb altijd een beetje zo'n outsider gevoel. Want ik um, was altijd die dat alleen was. Ik was wel heel insecure. En ik um, heb ik denk niks dat ik niet meer raag nie. Ik denk dat mensen is beter af zonder mij. Ik ben bang voor judgment. Ik ben bang dat dus al die zijn werk op mij. Ook al waar je conservatieve community zal zien sy, het dit als weakness en craziness. Kon het mensen met net begin ander mense lief hee, <laughs> wat hulle net kan probeer hulle self teach. En so is hy dan um, as ek in een meer depressed tijd was nie, dan sal ek vir jou sê, ja, besteer. As jy so erg voel, dan, dan moet jy en jy be able to. Maar in die tijd wat ek nou is, kan ek vir jou sê, daar is so baie mense wat vir een persoon omkeer, wat gaan suffer as gevolg van jou dood. Hello, Booty. My brother attempted suicide when I was 13. My mom thought that because it's October, it was Satan taking over my brother, and that's why he attempted. I was the one who found him. He overdosed on pills, and I had to tell my dad, and I had to go wake up my mom because she was napping. And then he was rushed to the hospital. I think he was in the hospital for about two weeks. But I know my brother always had scars on his arms. Like, he's still... 10 years later after cutting he still has scars all over his arms he has scars on his neck from where he tried slitting his throat it's, it's yeah so he's been through a lot and a lot of it was mainly just bullying that he grew up with and also that feeling of wanting to be different than what your parents want you to be i was very confused i didn't quite know what was going on um it hadn't like that kind of heavy stuff hadn't really been in my life besides the knowledge of my mom's dad but it was scary and confusing graad negatief dat ek my burn-out gehad en dit was baie erg en ek het discovery ook het al hierdie medie mental issues en illnesses en goed my suicide attempts but alhoewel dit gefeil het elke keer dit, dit was de oorzaak ek denk bijna was baie cookie cutter my ma is lief vir my pa en pa is lief vir my ma nou, dit is nog steeds wat wil ek um, en dit was dit is nog een uh, een goeie huishouding, dit is ons respecteer mekaar, kan grappies maak, ons lief mekaar. Ja, dit is net, dit is moeilik om kwaar en kwaar mentally ill te wees in een situasie soos dit. Want as jy net vinnig terugkijk en dan krij jy geen rede om mental issues te heen nie. Want alles was so perfect. Hoe kan jy so gebreek wees? Wanneer ek die dips gevang het, het ek nooit aan hulle gedink nie. En dit is verschrikkelijk selfish, maar dit, my opinies en alles het weggeveid. Het is net die constant woord dat ek moet nou dit gaan. Um, a lot of people think you're taking the coward's way out, but it takes a lot of courage to actually go through with it. Like, I kind of see people who commit suicide as brave because it's it's a lot to force yourself to do 
um, it's a lot to inflict that pain on yourself because of like the flight or fight mechanism. So you're fighting against your own nature. Well, people see it as wanting to kill yourself, but it's it's just wanting the pain to stop. You don't necessarily want to die. You just want all the hurting to go away. So people think, oh, you you know, you want life to end. 